Whoa. Well, this is maybe going to be the most awkward vlog you've ever seen in your life because I haven't vlogged for two months. I haven't written anything. I haven't vlogged. I haven't made a video in a month. Anyway, hi. I'm Meredith. Welcome to my channel. I usually post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. The last month was a little different. Uh, I was taking a little bit of a break, but I batch... I batch filmed a lot of my January content, so I haven't sat down in front of a camera for a month, basically, and uh, it feels a little awkward, not gonna lie. So today is January 29th, and I need to get back into the swing of things. I need to start writing again. Um, I need to make some more videos if I'm gonna have anything to post. Uh, so that's what this weekend is for. It's just, my big goal this weekend is just to sort of ease back into the normal process of writing on a hopefully regular basis, making videos, etc., etc. I'm actually gonna sit down first and do a little bit of an outline for the video you would have seen on Tuesday, and then I'm gonna film that, and then I'm gonna get into actually writing and kind of reviewing what the heck I'm doing this month. At the moment, it is quarter to nine, so I feel good about, you know, timing wise it's not too late in the day so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do the video stuff first i'll come back in a little bit and actually do some writing work okay i finally finished filming this video it's a little long <laughs> but i had a lot of things i wanted to talk about i don't know i filmed for like almost half an hour hopefully i'll be able to cut it down a little bit in uh editing. I was only interrupted by the dogs once though, so that was nice. So for the moment, it is exactly 10 o'clock and I need to, I just want to pull up my planner and try to look at the week ahead and this weekend in particular and see what do I want to try to get done and where in my schedule do I think I have time to do all this. So if you didn't watch Tuesday's video, I do recommend going back and watching it because I'm going to go, I go into all the detail about what's been going on and why I have a lot less free time now than I did like back in October, November, and basically all of 2021. I'll link that below if you haven't had a chance to watch it yet. Yeah, so let's grab my planner and see what I have going on and what I need to do this week. Okay, so planner wise, I really haven't been looking a whole lot at this planner for January because I did all of my video stuff uh, right in that first week of January. So there wasn't like daily or like weekly to do's that I usually like to keep track of. I did use the dotted, um, the dotted pages that I added to the end of the month. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I did do a video on planners in January, I think. <laughs> um, I'll put a link to that below too if you want to check that out. And I go over like all the different things that I got to add to this planner, which was a lot of fun. Um, I have been doing the tracking of things in the dotted section. So I do want to do another one of these for February and hopefully add in some other items. You can see, you know, writing was not on the list. It was not even on the list and I did that on purpose. I was not planning to write in the month of January. I do want to do a uh, setup, you know, the one for February. I did actually already plan out the videos I want to do in February. So I don't need to like brainstorm anything or think up anything. I need to plan the videos. And honestly, really, if I want to kind of get myself back on track, I should film two videos this weekend so that I can be like a week ahead kind of with what I have filmed. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm not doing another video today. If I feel up to it, I might do one tomorrow. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to do it next weekend and edit it real quick <laughs> and upload it for next Tuesday. So I do have at least sort of that portion done. Let's think about what I need to do in terms of like household stuff because of course, you know, there's always something to clean around the house or organize or whatever. And then 
um, think about what I need to get done in terms of writing and social media kinds of stuff. I did use this last weekend. Um, it was my last weekend of freedom before I had to go back to work. And so you can see I obviously did nothing on the social media section, but there was a lot of stuff that I wanted to do around the house. And I got a bunch of it done. Um, there's a few extra things that I need to do. I don't know if I'm gonna get to organizing that filing cabinet, but there's a couple other things I kinda wanna bump over to this weekend or this week. So let's start with those. Okay, so here is the plan, obviously, from sort of standard household stuff. But then in terms of writing, my first big task is just to reread what I already have. It's been so long since I've even looked at this project. I just need to reread what I was in the middle of doing. Um, and then also reread like all of my notes, my outline, and just kind of get back into the flow and feel of the story. Then I need to make some sort of plan going forward for what needs to be completed. So, you know, what do I still need to finish for this second draft? Maybe thinking about like how long I think that's gonna take me and then scheduling this week and sort of seeing okay, where am I going to fit writing into this week? So for this week, again, I just sort of want to take it easy and ease back into things. I don't want to overwhelm myself with like, you need to write every single day and do all of the things. No, not doing that. Obviously today and tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, I should have some significant amount of time to work on things. I need to get Tuesday's video edited and finished up. My husband has t Mondays and Tuesdays off. Those are his normal days off. I'm thinking I might be able to get some work done after my regular day job work um, because he'll be here and he can like monitor the dogs and you know make sure the bunnies are doing okay and I can be back here and do a little bit of work maybe like right before dinner because usually after I finish my work we take the dogs on a walk um, and that goes you know until maybe five ish. I also am having to like clean up the bunny pens usually immediately after work. So it's usually like 5, 5.15, 5.30 by the time I'm actually able to like sit down and do something else. So if I could do 30 minutes, let's be super realistic and super easy on ourselves. 30 minutes of work on Monday and Tuesday before dinner. Let's write it down. Okay. The rest of the week is a little tricky. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm basically by myself until my husband gets home around 7.20. After he gets home, like there's no time left to do anything before it's time for us to go to bed because usually he gets home around 7.20, I have dinner ready because it's late and we want to eat. We eat dinner. We usually take a little time to chill and like watch a video, YouTube video or something like that while we eat. At eight o'clock, it is bunny medicine time. The number of things we have to do to get this medicine ready for them is a lot. So that usually takes, I don't know, 15 minutes to kind of get through preparing all the meds and actually giving them to the bunnies. There's a bit of time like 20 minutes then we're like taking the dogs out to see if they have to go to the bathroom again you know kind of playing with the dogs a little bit around 8 40 8 45 i go into the bunny room and i do like their last kind of cleanup before we start getting ready for bed so i change out all their towels if they've peed on them the puppy pads we have in there like i'm changing all that kind of stuff out nine o'clock i'm usually like in the bathroom washing my face brushing my teeth putting on pajamas and then i'm usually in bed by like 9 30 and i like to read a little bit so like there's no time after seven o'clock um to do anything any kind of you know work related stuff and also you know by the time it gets that late in the evening i'm tired i don't usually want to be working at eight o'clock at night doing something. Before all of that, I mean, I have to prep dinner. So usually I'm starting dinner around 6.30. I give the dogs their food around six o'clock. The only time I have, there's usually a, maybe an hour between the time when I get back from the walk with the dogs until I have to start making dinner. There is that time. I'm usually pretty tired. I could potentially do some work in there. I'm going to be realistic though and say that that's probably not going to happen. I usually just like to come back here and just 
be able to do something that's not a focused activity. I've been focused on work all day, then I'm focused on cleaning up the bunny stuff, then I'm focused on taking the dogs for a walk, later I'm focused on dinner and cleaning up the bunnies and meds and da da da. Like, it's a lot. And so that that little bit of time between the end of our walk and the beginning of dinner prep is the only like real free time I have on Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays now. So I don't want to commit to doing writing stuff when I know that's probably not super realistic. I think I'm going to save that time for me just to have like chill and a relaxing time. That is one of the things on my little dot grid <laughs> for the month is one, you know, some period of time where you're doing a relaxing activity. But if I can do a little bit of work on Mondays and Tuesday, and then I'll have the weekend to do more work, I think that might be okay. We'll see how it goes. And then of course, next weekend, you know, Saturday, Sunday, I should be able to do some amount of stuff. Now, in terms of what am I going to be doing during my little writing sessions on Monday and Tuesday, I don't know. I'm going to see what I can get done this weekend and what point I'm at, and then we'll go from there. For now, though, it is almost 1030. I haven't actually eaten any breakfast. I just sort of got up and had coffee and then I've been doing all this. I'm gonna maybe eat something. I need to put in a load of the bunny towels because I'm out of towels and they're gonna need a change here in the next couple hours. So I'm gonna put in some laundry, get something to eat, and then I guess get to rereading this project. I'm, I'm nervous about rereading it, but we'll see how it goes. So laundry, food, project model rom-com. Okay, I'm back and ready to get started, but I checked my email and I'd gotten tax forms for the incredible amount of money that I made for my YouTube channel in the last two months of the year. I've never seen this kind of form before. This makes sense, okay, my money I made, whatever. It has such random other stuff. Fishing boat proceeds, definitely doesn't apply to me. Crop insurance proceeds, this one's my favorite. Fish purchased for resale. What? Golden parachute paint? What is this? I don't know what, what the heck is fish purchase for resale? Why? How is that on the same form? I don't understand. I just thought that was funny. Okay, I've been procrastinating a little bit because I'm nervous to open this document. <laughs> it's almost 11.30, 11.24. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my document. I think today what I'm gonna do is just read through what I have so far in this second draft that I was working on and just kind of see what the story was because <laughs> I forget some of the details and I don't know if I'll get to rereading like my outline and stuff today. We'll just see how it goes with the draft portion of things and see what I think. If I have thoughts along the way, I'll let you know. But let's go and open this document for the first time since September. Um. Which one of these documents do you think it is? <laughs> I guess we'll go with the most recently updated one. End of August. Maybe I didn't even work on it in September. Ugh. Okay, so it looks like I've gotten about 11 scenes into things, which equates to about 20,000 words, which is not a lot. <laughs> And this says that the reading time is about an hour and a half. So I'm gonna start reading, see how far I get, and I'll check in with you in a little bit. Okay, so I'm a couple scenes in and I'm liking it. I was, I was very much expecting to be reading through this and being like, oh my gosh, you're literally the worst writer on the entire planet. And I mean, like, it's definitely clunky, but it's not, it's not terrible. And there's one scene with like some banter back and forth between the two main characters that I think is like pretty good. <laughs> like I laughed at one of the lines because I'd forgotten about it and it was funny. I was like, ah. You put a good one in there. So, um, so far so good. That's encouraging. I was l legitimately expecting to find it just an absolute wreck. I do notice a couple things within the first couple scenes where I'm like, mm, is this too much stuff? There's a lot of conflict that's being set up in the beginning and like conflict within a novel is obviously a good thing. <sighs> It almost feels like there's too much. There's 
one thing happening between two of the friends. There's another thing happening with the main character. There's another another thing happening. Like, I don't know, it's just, it just feels like kind of a lot of little threads of stuff. So that might need to be integrated a little bit better. And I'm also seeing, I've sort of added two different goals that the main character has. You know, you talk about when you're writing a story, your characters need to have some sort of motivation, something they're trying to achieve or get. And I, she has like two big things that are not really the same. Like she can't have both of them. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So I'm gonna keep reading, see how the rest of this ends up, but so far so good. I'm pleased. <laughs> okay, we're taking a little break from reading because we have a poop emergency. <laughs> Uh, I got it briefly to check on the bunnies, and Crispin has poop stuck all over his butt. So we need to clean him up. Alright, here's our little poop king. He's gotten it all over his legs. So we gotta get to scrubbing. It just takes a lot of effort to get it off. A lot of scrubbing. Anyway, this is my life. <laughs> Cleaning poop off of bunnies. My poor little boy. Rabbits actually have two kinds of poop. Their digestive tract works so quickly that it pushes food through their body before their body has had a chance to actually absorb all the nutrients. And so they produce this wet, very smelly <laughs> poop that they're supposed to eat as it is coming out of their body, which is really exciting. And healthy rabbits do that with no problem. But because they have him and uh, Crispin, or him and Nibs, now are having so much difficulty just being up on their feet, they can't bend around the way that they are supposed to in order to get this poop while it's coming out. So it just ends up on the floor, and sometimes they'll eat it off the floor but a lot of times they just end up stepping in it um, and then it gets all over them. And as you can see, it is a big mess. If they eat it, then it goes through their system again and it produces the regular kind of poops that you might see in their pen that are dry. They're just little ball pellet kind of things. And those are super easy to clean up. That's not a problem. But this kind is a big mess. Is that decent? I think that's as good as it's gonna get. That's all for now. Back to, back to the pen, it's okay. So you can see I've been here for like 10 minutes just cleaning off his poop. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Okay, it's almost one o'clock and I keep getting interrupted. <laughs> poop and then there was a box at the door and now Jade is like I'm awake and I want to play. I'm trying to do work. Hopefully she'll calm down a little bit for a couple more hours. They're usually not super eager for activity until like three o'clock in the afternoon. So anyway, I'm about halfway through this reread. I'm gonna try to finish it, <laughs> hopefully in the next hour. It shouldn't be more than an hour, um, unless I get interrupted again. But then I'm gonna need some lunch and then we'll see what to do after that. But so far so good in the reading and yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, I just had a little bit of a panic moment. I finished reading through the draft and I was like, I remember writing more than this. The copy that was on my desktop was not the complete copy. I don't know what happened, but I did back it up and I have more scenes that I'd written saved on my external hard drive. Thank goodness. I don't know how it got like unsynced, but anyway, I'm gonna copy paste the stuff that I found on my external hard drive into the copy that's on the desktop and we should be okay. But uh, there's like three more complete scenes in this other copy than what was on my actual computer. 
So let me get all that situated and finish reading this. Okay, we're all done rereading this whole project. It's now 1.36. I'm very hungry. It's decent. I'm very surprised. <laughs> it, I think it's decent. I, f I was scared I was going to reread it and feel like, oh my gosh, you have to go back and like rewrite all of this because it's so terrible. I can tell toward the end, like the last couple scenes don't seem to be as strong to me. I think I was just getting like tired of writing it <laughs> at the end there. So yeah, I'm, I don't feel like they're bad enough to where I'm like, oh, I have to like redo them or something. I'm just going to leave them for now. But I feel like moving forward with the project should be pretty okay. I'm gonna reread my outline and kind of see where I was intending to take a bunch of things, but so far I think it's good, which is great. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna grab some lunch and take a little break and see what else to do after that. I might need to start editing the Tuesday video. I might do that this afternoon because honestly, once I've gotten lunch for myself, I need to check on the bunnies, probably clean up their area too. Um, the dogs are probably going to be starting to wake up. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, lunchtime. Okay, lunch is over. I did finish cleaning up Nibs's little spot and I also cleaned out Crispin's spot. There he is. There that good boy. You can see how he just is like super wobbly uh, um, and those extra towel bolsters the little circle helps him have something to like lean on it, it seems to work better than the ones that I've got like on the side so yeah he just gonna sit and eat some pellets hopefully or some hay so for the rest of the afternoon today, um, well, that sounds really bright. Um, the rest of the afternoon today, I think I'm just gonna work on editing the video you would have seen on Tuesday. I haven't edited for a month, so. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna be slow and be like, wait, what button do I push? But anyway, I'm gonna do that for the rest of whatever quiet time I have before the dogs start waking up and work on that. And I'll get back to the writing work tomorrow. So I'll see you then. He's sleepy boy. You a sleepy boy? Yeah. All right, time to head back to my room to write. Hmm. It's just it's just a trail of toys. Happy Sunday. It is time to get started with some writing. It is about 1130. Um, a little later than I was kind of planning on, but it's fine. Today, my big goal is just to read over my outline and all of the various notes and brainstorm dump kind of things that I have in this Scrivener document. And just to kind of get a sense back of where I was going with the story and um, where... <sighs> where I'm going with the story, I guess, uh, and all the different plot points that are to come. So that's the goal for today. I don't think that's going to take me a huge amount of time. Um, and I'm not going to push myself to do more than that. I'm just going to get that rereading and kind of refreshing done. And then hopefully tomorrow, I'll be able to dive into actually like continuing to write some of these scenes. Um, the scene that I left off on yesterday was incomplete. I just stopped in the middle of the scene, which is kind of hilarious. But thankfully, I do remember where it was going. It's a good thing. So yeah, I'll jump into all of that kind of rewriting hopefully tomorrow. But for now, let's go ahead and pull up that outline and see what it looks like. Okay, so I finished reading through the outline. It's pretty solid. There's a few points, especially there's a few points, especially toward the end of the outline where I'm not quite sure how some of the pieces are going to fit in. At the moment, I have it structured. So there's like two epilogues, which I don't know if I've ever seen that in a book. I don't think it works. I don't, I don't think that's going to work. So I'll have to retool a little of that. But overall, I think the story sounds good. 
And the point I'm at in the draft is sort of the fun and games stage if you're going by Save the Cat. I'm not really following that as a guide here, but if I was, this would be the fun and games stage. So I'm not really halfway through. I thought it was, I think I thought I was farther along than I am. Like I said yesterday, I'm only about 20,000 words into the draft, which is not halfway. <laughs> um, and I'm thinking that this draft, when I finish it, it'll probably be close to 60,000 words total. So I'm I'm pretty far from that midpoint right now. So tomorrow I'm going to try to sit down and finish out the scene that I had left in the middle of everything. And um, yeah, just see where I can go from there, see what I can get done this week. My plan is for those two days to do at least 30 minutes of writing on Monday and Tuesday. And yeah, I guess check back next week to see how I did. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to probably just end this vlog. I know this kind of was a little shorter than yesterday, but I wasn't planning to do a whole lot today. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button. I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. You can follow me over on Instagram if you like, but I'm not posting as consistently over there anymore. The links for all that are down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.